Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with some Cauldrons of War Stalingrad. I didn't know this when we left off, but we had actually finished the mission. All I needed to do was press next because we had just taken Sevastopol. We had just taken Voronezh, which gave us enough points for a victory. Sevastopol has fallen. The important event immediately increases the confidence of the Axis soldiers. Marginal victory, seven points. Your success is Kirch Bridgehead destroyed, two points. Nice. Sevastopol, three points. Yeah, I was there. I took that. Voronezh resisted. Negative one point. Uh, I made that call on my own against uh, orders from, you know, the top. The Wehrmacht allowed itself to be distracted by a really secondary objective. Yeah, okay. Shit all over me for that. Red Army losses, three points. Well done. We have success. Up next, uh, so we did the early stages, Krakow Kirch, and now we've got Fall Blau. Fall Blau 1941 was a trying year for the Wehrmacht. Not only is the USSR still standing, but the Red Army has also harshly counterattacked throughout the winter. Greatly diminished German forces are preparing to revive the assault. There can no longer be any question of an attack on all fronts like last year so a plan has been developed to destroy as many enemy forces as possible while seizing the oil wealth of the caucasus in order to constitute a su sufficient force for this operation significant means were taken from the center and north of the front nice our main offensive in the south itself will not be ready until june until then cleanup operations will be carried out in the Izmir and crimean areas all right, victory points. Conquest of the Caucasus can get us up to 10 points. Baku, 5. Batumi, 3. Grozny and Mayakop, a point each. Cutting the Don Volga Isthmus is 1 point. Bleed Dry the Red Army, 1 to 3, three points based on how many losses we inflict. Uh, for any operation completed by the Red Army, though, we get a negative 2 points. Other objectives may appear during the game. You will need at least six points to achieve a victory. Oh, shit. We got the entire front. Real quick, though, before we get started, boom, a shout out to the member bros, including those tier three members, Christopher McHugh, GoldenBoy6198, and De Blair Roller. Once again, thank you to the member bros. Let's go. Looks like the yeah, Army Group North and Center are on full defense, and of course, Army Group South is on the full offense, along with the uh, Crimean Front. There are our victory points. So I, I would guess do we got reinforcements three in the north, three in the uh, center. Oh my God! We know what the, all the Romanian groups are going to be for. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to check and make sure the width and the men we got there are enough to hold. And we'll make sure all of them are entrenched as well. It'll probably take us a while since we only get two action points. For uh, Army Group North and Army Group Center. Uh, they're one low. The, Reje the Dnieper Rejev. We'll send them a crapper unit. All right, Army Group Center. We need two bros at the uh, Rajev Sichkova front. Rajev Sichkova. Rajev Sichkova. All right, so we'll get those entrenched. We also need one here. We need some entrenching there. All right, now this is the good stuff. We'll just keep an eye on that and make sure when we hover over it, their uh, completion is not getting too high. Let's start in the Crimea here. Uh, Siege of Sevastopol. Um, I'm going to say... Let's do a round of shelling. Oh, yeah, we got the big guns. I, for I almost forgot about the massive guns. Everybody shell away. We do have air superiority, so we'll come back in with the Panzer Group and do a Blitzkrieg on Sevastopol, see if we can't take it. 
Okay, so Army Group South. We have Road to Rostov. I'm going to send another German unit to there. Jeez. That's what you gave me? And we've got the Fall Blau Phase 1. Which again, I'm saying, let's shell. We do have air superiority, so let's go in with a blitz. Uh, Alright, that's good. These guys just got surrounded. Uh, what is this again? An armored assault intended to pierce the lines of the opponent. The only difference with the blitz action is that air support is not grouped with this action. Go for it. Another encirclement. I guess let's go ahead and blitz and see if we can't get somebody else surrounded. Oh, these guys got crapped on, but no other surroundings. 48% though already. All right, June 28th, 1942, wrapped up. Like I said, I'll just keep coming. Actually, you know what I wanted to do? I did want to send uh, something extra to Leningrad. Like uh, the 39th Motorized Corps. And then I think we needed one broke here, the push towards Orel. All right, so now I'll just focus on getting everybody entrenched. We got the, uh, we got all the troops we need on the front. We just need to keep them entrenched, keep an eye on them. All right, let's see what's going on in the Crimea. Sevastopol's uh, Navy went to the front. That's fine. They only got one? They got only one unit there? Shit, let's blitz that. Yeah, we broke them. Congratulations, your objectives have been reached. This operation is now over. Sevastopol has been cleared. I want to go back up here and finish this off. We are already 94%. Damn, how did we get surrounded? What are you guys? Are you guys shitting me? How did we get surrounded? How does that happen? Guys, let's go ahead and it supplies. Nah, it's not too bad. Resupply that and we're going to assault. I just don't know how those other bros got surrounded like that. All right, they, we, we everybody's, wow, everybody is surrounded right now. All right, so that was successful. We now have a beyond the Sosna River front. And we have the race along the Don. So now we'll probably just hold that and move these two up evenly. I didn't want this one way out in front as this one's way behind. It does look like this one needs another unit. Let's send them some backup. They're probably just going to be holding. I think we can get by by sending them the uh, second. Uh, yeah, let's do the second remaining mountain division. Sevastopol has fallen. This important event immediately increased the confidence of Axis soldiers. The huge means employed to support the siege can now be employed to support our offense towards the east. Nice. Where to send the 11th? Mission of the 11th Army was to take the Crimea now that Sevastopol has fallen. Its job is done. So it looks like historically they went to Leningrad. However, we could uh, prepare them for Operation Blitcher, which is an uh, amphibious landing to take, uh, where was that? Mayakop oil fields, or just send them to Army Group South. I think for this decision, I'm going to go historical. Even though there might be uh, more than likely decisions that I won't go historical on. I think I'm going historical on this one. Should we take Voronezh? A few days travel from our troops position extends to the region of Voronezh. The city is an important railway junction for the Soviets. So the capture of the city by the Wehrmacht would greatly complicate the logistics of the Red Army. The region also has important Soviet aircraft factories. Is that enough reason for me? 
Finally, attacking the city would deceive the enemy about our intentions by making them believe that Moscow is our main objective. Von Bach is strong supporter of attacking the city. Hitler and Howler believe that capture Vornish would distract from. Them. Well, I mean, I did it last time. Does it do a lot for me? Vornish is now worth one victory point. Opens Vornish capture operation. Do I really want? I don't think I want to do that. We got to focus on Paul Blau. We got to focus on Paul Blau. Vornesh is not the first time the Germans have let themselves be distracted. I think I made the right decision there. Operational adaptation. Our operations call for an offensive in two main directions, east and south. It therefore seems logical to split Army Group South into Army Group A in the south and Army Group B in the north and east. In this scheme, Field Marshal von Bach, who commands Army Group South, would take command of Army Group B and Wilhelm List would have that of Army Group A, von Bach, with whom the fear is already in permanent conflict with, is vigorously opposed to this decision. This right here got me. The solution of the two army groups would amount to dividing our efforts in two perpendicular directions, making the task of our logistics even more problematic. What should we do? Look, I get why they split them up. I get it. They needed, they wanted Stalingrad and they wanted the oil fields. I get it. But that left them both, both groups too weak to do what they were meant to do. So I'm going to keep Army Group South unless this gives me a bunch. No, that doesn't give me much. I gain one command point and there's two army groups. I'm, I'm keeping them together. The sin just put the German effort into two totally different directions to be pursued simultaneously is often seen as the main mistake made by the Germans during 1942 campaign. So I probably made the right decision. All right, we spent our action points in the north and center, just working on getting troops on the front, getting them entrenched. Uh, let's try to... I haven't done much with this army group right here. Road to Rostov. I've not done much with it. The forces symbolize the will of the deuce to participate in the Reich's greatest anti-Bolshevik crusade. Uh, do we have a panzer division we can stick down there? We do. I want a panzer division down there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, supply it right now. Because we're going to go ahead and start shelling. And then you know what we're going to do? You guessed it, a little bit of Blitzkrieg. Actually, uh, we can't Blitzkrieg right now. I guess we uh, can shell then. Oh, we didn't have supplies. Shit. Yeah, there we go. Blitzkrieg. Should we get the Romanians involved? Uh, I don't think so. We'll hold off on them. We'll check uh, this spot up here. Uh, these birds are still encircled. And it doesn't tell you what this does. I guess it would break them out, right? I mean, I don't even know what that does. July 9th, 1942. Enjoy the summer while you can. It's going to get nasty soon. I wanted to show you guys something right here. I didn't click on these bros, but these are uh, the Spanish volunteers. Fully equipped by Germany. That's what I did, even though that was not historical. I did that. We'll see if that pays off. So uh, Army Group North is good. I mean, there's nothing I need to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and sit here and start shelling Leningrad. I mean, why not? Last time we started on Rostov front, let's start on this Don front. The Don front is open. Breakthrough what? There's nobody there. Just keep progressing. Holy shit. Yeah, there's nothing there. Just keep moving up, guys. Uh, not much is going on there. 
left behind Luftwaffe. The rapid advance of our troops across the steppe has forced the Luftwaffe to move to new airfields in order to continue supporting our troops for several days. We will have to do without our aircraft to spot and harass the enemy. Into the Wild Steppe, our most advanced troops in the steppe are now more than 300 kilometers from most advanced logistics depots. Uh, that's great. Supplying our units lost in the vastness of the gigantic steppe with poorly drivable roads has become a logistical nightmare. Units engaged in the Don race gain the isolated stretch lines and stragglers traits. Great. Milarov. The, the Blau plan called for very large encirclements of Soviet troops, but the observation is that too many enemies are escaping the too loose mesh of our net. The Wehrmacht High Command wants to impose a more restrict encirclement at Milarov, an important railway junction. Such a change of plan would mobilize our mobile troops currently employed on the banks of the Don by directing them due south. Ah, uh, no, 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 no! Rostov would thus take precedence over Stalingrad. No way. Field Marshal von Bock firmly opposes. I am with Bach on this one. Look, we want Stalingrad. We're going at Stalingrad. We'll take that. Then you can do whatever the hell you want. But I'm going at Stalingrad. Historically, the Germans tried to finally create a great encirclement from which the Soviets attempted to escape through a general retreat. The catches were very meager. Yeah, I made the right decision. Rommel stopped the gates of Egypt. Rommel can still win. Hey, we Rommel can still win. So, so far, Army Group North, the enemy's made no progress. And in the center, the enemy has made no progress. So, as I said before, I'm just going to set back. I'm going to shell Leningrad for fun. Take that. All right, let's check out Rostov first this time around. They are, I think that's, yeah, they're retreating. Chase them down. Get them while they are on the run. Everybody up. Yeah, just keep pushing. I, I want to spend half there and I want to come back up here where... Apparently, there is nobody there. Yeah, nobody's here. The next movement from this point is right into Stalingrad. We are at the Don Loop. And it's, op it's open. I mean, I guess move up. But we did gain another front right here. The Bulgachar Bridgehead. Needs five units. You know who's going in there. You know it was made specifically for those Romanian troops to go in there and hold that. History, if anything, teaches us that Romanians can definitely hold the flank. Well, bros, I think July 23rd, 1942 is a good stopping point. We're just going to come back, keep playing defense, Army Group North and Center. Uh, make sure there's no breakthroughs and uh, keep attacking with army group south. I can't believe I'm I'm like I'm I'm with Bach. I keep agreeing with Bach against the fear his plans. Maybe Bach needs a thumbnail. Bros, if you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll be back here for an next upload. Peace. Ruminati out.